God has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of His beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. I've been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ who lives in me. This life I live in the flesh, I now live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. But God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we are dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If then you have been raised with Christ, set your minds on things above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above and not on earthly things, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. In that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me and I am in you, that they may all be one, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you that they also may be in us, that, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. But our citizenship is in heaven. From there, we await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body by the power that enables him even to subject all things to myself. Amen. Pray then like this, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. He is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. He shall preserve you from all evil. The Lord will preserve your soul. He shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness, come into His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name, for the Lord is good and His steadfast love endures forever and His faithfulness to all generations. Amen.
Shema Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and strength. These words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you lie down, when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes. You shall write them on the door post of your house and on your gates. Not that I'm speaking of being in need, for I learned in whatever situation I am to be content. I know how to be brought low, and I know how to abound. In any and every circumstance, I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger, abundance and need. I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. Yet it was kind of you to share my trouble. Therefore David blessed the Lord in the presence of all the assembly, and David said, Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and in your hand it is to make great and to give strength to all. And now we thank you, our God, and praise your glorious name. Amen. Amen. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. Amen. Amen. Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the, of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of living water, rivers of water, which brings forth its, its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so, they are like a chaff which the wind drives away. They shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the godly, but the way of the wicked shall perish. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false, and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. For such is a generation of those who seek him, who seek the faith of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O Asian doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O Asian doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. 
against you, you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, you, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones of broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Creating me a clean heart, uh, O God, and do not cast me up. Creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and upon me by your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire, for you do not desire sacrifice or else I will give it. You do not delight in burnt offering. For the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your Build a, do good in your good do good in your good pleasure to Zion, and build the walls of Jerusalem. And you shall be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering, and they shall offer bulls on your altar. Amen.